Super Roro Wars 30 is coming west. Are you ready? Super Roro Wars 30 is getting a release in the west. Yep, we're just as surprised as you are. But we're always super excited. The 30 years strong game series is bringing us more cool mecha and mecha adjacent titles than ever. Its die hard fans are ready to roll, but what about newcomers? If you caught the trailer and are interested, but don't know the game series, we got you covered. There are a lot of moving parts, squads, missions, upgrades, and the like. But here's what you need to know to start. You'll be leading battles like a big hero before you know it. You don't need to know every show, but it doesn't hurt. The Super Robot Wars franchise is full of first fighting robots from anime past and present. If you're a makeup expert, you might know most, or even all, of the show in the game, but odds are are there be at least one title, like game more, that's completely new to you, and that won't hinder your gameplay and all. The game stories tend to focus up on original robots and heroes. One of them will be your avatar in the game. Mecha from other series appears due to dimensional rifts or other time disturbances, and so to their respective plot points and enemies. You actually end up playing during the stories of many of the anime feature. If you don't know them, no problem. You learn more about them as you play. You don't need any fort knowledge to make good use of your units. If anything, Super Mario Wars will give you lots of new shows to watch. However, sometimes knowledge of the show give you an extra boost. The units that are allied in their series may have a combo attack at the game. For example, if you're maybe able to guess if it's worth your while attempt to negotiate an enemy over to your team. Think the stage is over. It isn't. The Super Mario Wars games are not short. Expect anywhere from 50 to 60 tactical stages with multiple waves, with visual novel scenes in between. That means that the playtime, which is great, but also means it's easy to get a fact out and use up all your power before the real fight begins. It's best to always assume that the second wave is on the way. If not a third, those later waves also come with bigger story relevant bodies. The good news, allies are to drop and during those later waves. Too. So even if you burn drunk a lot of special abilities and energy early, there's still potential help in the way. Robots and pilots can be upgraded and customized. As with any game, Super Robot Wars gives you experience and money for completing missions. There are even more chances for that now with the additional side and bonus quests. But don't forget that those use those points. Your pilots will level up as they fight, but you can modify and upgrade their special abilities too. Similarly, you can upgrade your robots and ships. Between increasing your stats and adding extra parts, you can customize your robots into perfectly balanced fighting machines. Or you can play like the writer, spend all your time mixing at Masangar Z and go Gaigar Gai Gai and hope for the best. Don't forget to take your lesser used pilots out for a spin sometimes, too. You know, you never know what a Gundam pilot who has 40 levels will be low if everyone else will be an obligat obligatory character in a scenario. Super Warrior Wars 30 comes out this October.